How to draw Ororo. For the remainder of these characters, I decided to sketch them out beforehand and here I am just lining Ororo. Bororo's hat is actually an aviator hat, which is a joke because the writers thought it was funny because penguins are known to not be able to fly. And a lot of the episodes actually center around the fact that Bororo wants to fly, but he can't. Some paint colors like the orange in my acrylic kit are a little bit less like thick than the rest of them so you'll see it kind of blends in with my G2 pen. Make sure that if you want it to not be see-through, you mix it with a little bit of white paint. Ororo and Petty have the same skin color, navy blue and their beaks are the same color as well so I'll be doing Petty's video right after this one. Bororo has the same royal blue onesie that Krong was wearing um, because he's actually the one who gave Krong his onesie. thought that's really cute. When Bororo discovers Krong's egg and Krong is born, he actually decides to adopt him as his little brother. Here, I'll be cleaning up the areas that need some more white paint and I'm just filling in the inside of his glasses. I decided to make Bororo's background like a bright blue, baby blue. I think it's a really pretty color for his background and Petty, his, I guess, counterpart in the show. I'm gonna make hers pink. I think that's gonna be really cute. And here I'll just be coloring in the sides of the paintings. This is actually like about 2-3 inches thick, so make sure to use paint to cover every single inch of the piece. Sorry, Bororo is a little bit out of frame in this one, but I'm just filling in the remaining detailed areas with a small paintbrush. You guys can't really see, but I'm actually just wiping the paint, because it's acrylic paint, onto <laughs> the doggy pad that I have behind this. Um, the puppy pads are really nice for acrylic painting, because you could just wipe off your brushes and change colors if you want. And here I'm just relining Bororo's body with a G2 pen again. I should really get a thin sharpie. I love Bororo because he never gives up on trying to fly and he's one of my favorite characters in the show. Here's the finished Bororo and stay tuned for Petty.